the Eopater, Jupiter. In a previous video we saw that the Greek mythical creature Eor was considered a deity in Egypt. Eor was associated with Isis. And we know that Isis is through syncretism known as Anina, Astarta, Diana, Hecata, Demeter, Diana Lucifer of Venus, Lucifer, Ninchiana, Helal Ben Saha, Atta the Luminous, Atta the Rebel. In a previous video we mentioned that the personal pronoun Jor in Spanish and Eo in Italian might be also an spoken reference of Eo, the god goddess. Reference which may also have been included by linguists and erudites throughout the development of these two languages. Also we proposed that the personal pronoun I, in English, may also have been related with that EO reference, with the suppression of the phoneme, O, oh, but this was a theory of us. Based on what we have summarized about EO, in this video we will meet another mythical character or mythical creature. This mythical being constitutes a masculine, not androgynous, form of EO. And we will call him as, EO Parter. Through linguistics and etymology, we will part from the following scheme proposed by Gay Rajerto. In that scheme Gertalx proposes that the Latin word Jove, which is another name of the Roman god Jupiter, Jupiter in this video represents Eo Pater, Jove, comes from the ancient Greek word, Dewi, which meant, daylight, and was also another name of Zeus, the Greek god. Dewi somehow changed into Dewi. Dewi was a way of calling god in ancient Oscan. And Oscan was a language spoken in Italy before the rise of the Roman Empire. This Dewey evolved into Eoa, we will talk about him later, which evolved into Jove, the other name of Jupiter. Jupiter known also as Eopater. Why are we calling Jupiter as Eo with the figure of Eopater? The Orthodox Churchman's magazine mentioned that the tenth book of the Ennead written by Virgil, where it says, O Pater, O hominum rerumque eterna potestas, Namque aliud quid sit quod ia m implorare quemus? The Orthodox Churchman's magazine mentioned that the phrase or parter might be originally expressed as the or parter. We will propose a scheme of the linguistic transition of the deity or into Jupiter, based on the work of Gerard Gerto, with a different scheme of the previous described. First, Eo evolves into Eoa. Eoa together with the word Potter may be pronounced as Java Potter, because in Latin, the letter V is pronounced as U. So until here, Eoa evolves into Java. William Joseph Spratling an English author in his book, Latin for Little Folks make this grammatical comment about Jave Potter. In literature and in academy in a general overview, Jave is a well-known name of the Roman god Jupiter. So until here, we have learned that, Eo evolved into Eoia, Eoia into Yave, Yave into Yave Pater and Yave Pater into Jupiter. This means that Eo, which is bisexual, is also Isis, which is Inanna, which is Ishtar, Astate, the dual Ninziana, Red Queen of Heavens, which is Helel Ben Sahar, Athar the Rebel, Athar the Rebel which represents the planet Venus, which is Lucifer. This means that Eo, which is Roman god Jupiter, also known as the Greek god Zeus, is Lucifer himself. Wanna do some research on your own? Go to Google Books and search Jorvipata. As it is shown below.